Good afternoon to you, my fellow patriots, and welcome to another great day of walking on the warpath for our brave soldiers fighting overseas. I've, my name is Terry Ronzio, and this is the first video of today, and I, I don't know how many will I'll go through, but today this first video will be called something to do with my boots. In four and a half years of marching for the soldiers, you can look at the bottom of this video and find the, de the uh, description of what I do and what I've been doing. But for four and a half years, I've walked for our great soldiers fighting in this war on terrorism. My main mission was is to keep the American public as a supporter of our warriors while they are fighting this terrible war that has lasted 10 years. Because as everybody knows, the mood of the people is always swinging from left to right. And always politicians are always using wars to, and the soldiers are, unfortunately pawns in wars that are fought for the his, since the history of mankind. Well anyways, I'm walking, currently I've been walking with my 25th pair of boots and my 25th pair of boots is wore down to the point where they're leaking when it's raining. <laughs> so it's fitting I talk to you about my 25th pair of boots when <laughs> when this morning my my dog bear he broke loose and was when I woke up and I heard him barking way off in the distance when I walked outside I threw on my 25th pair of boots and I went through the forest looking for bear <laughs> now there was a natural land bridge that not a, well it wasn't well it was naturally formed by the the creek that I live by of course you guys if you go back and look at my uh, look through my videos look for the Ryerson stations uh, warpath and you'll see the creek there was two trees that fell where I could go together and they formed a, a basically like a V where I could, me and my dog bear could walk across without getting our feet wet but recent floods uh, destroyed the, the V and the, uh, I had to march through the, the uh, creek to get to the, my dog, my poor dog bear who was stuck on the hill. So the, when I, it's fitting that I'm talking about boots 25 and how many pairs of boots I've walked with that I'm walking in the, my 23rd pair of boots. Now, I, <laughs> I keep all my boots in one of my storage places in my house. <laughs> and I couldn't find my 24th pair of boots. So, <laughs> so I had to find the nearest pair and there was my 23rd pair of boots. Now I noticed, if you look at these boots, the right foot is more off colored than the left. The reason behind that was is <laughs> I uh, forgot I've, I've broken my foot a few times in the last four and a half years because I'm a rough and rough and tumble kind of guy, and <laughs> I, I uh, but I it never stopped my walking. Uh, like I said, look refer down to the um, down to the uh, bottom of this video, and you'll see that. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> I, I, yeah, that, that how many, uh, my goals, are, or, well, I'll tell you, it's, it's down there in the definition, but I'll tell you, it's, uh, I walk three legs 500 miles, and every 500 miles, I give a flag to a unit that's been over in this war, uh, a soldier, a unit, or, recently, veterans groups, so, yeah, my boots, 23rd, my 23rd pair of boots, uh, like I said, the one is more discolored for a reason. I had to, when I 
when I broke my left foot when I was walking in my 23rd pair of boots, um, <laughs> the uh, I had to find a boot that fit the broken foot better because my 23rd pair of boots didn't fit well. So I finally found a pair from one of my older pairs and it was really tough to walk with that broken foot. But that's why the discoloration in the in the one boot. So yeah, I'm gonna get to part two <laughs> of walking for the soldiers. Uh, actually, the part two will be boots. My uh, Something about boots. Um, so the first two parts of walking for the troops is going to be about my boots. See you in the next video.